In this video, I'm going to talk about how doctors can find more patients using LinkedIn. We will share our three-step strategy for connecting with a large and very targeted group of potential patients using this powerful platform. I'm so glad you're here. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so that you'll receive a notification every Tuesday when we publish a new video. Guys, we have good news and bad news about LinkedIn. Let's get the bad news out of the way. LinkedIn is social media and like all other social media platforms, it's not going anywhere, it's here to stay. But the good news is that the reason it's here to stay is because it actually works. LinkedIn is an easy and free way to dramatically increase your exposure to a large and very targeted audience. And it doesn't have to be a time suck. I'm Boo Zamek from Meredith & Boo. We teach doctors how to grow their practices using marketing strategies that can be managed in-house and won't make you pull your hair out and won't cost you a fortune. If you're a busy doctor, or if you work closely with one, and you're thinking you'd like to find out how to use LinkedIn to increase your patient base, you've come to the right place. Now remember, LinkedIn is not Instagram. It is a B2B platform. That means business to business. But we all know that business is personal. Your current and prospective patients are on LinkedIn, and they want to connect with you. They want to have a personal relationship with a doctor in your specialty. Should they need your services, they want to work with someone they already know, like, and trust, not somebody they randomly selected from the directory that their insurance company gave them. With this in mind, there are three things that you can and should use LinkedIn for. One, to connect with other doctors, to exchange information or advice, or even help each other with diagnostics. And also to connect with professional organizations and groups. This, of course, can provide speaking opportunities and networking events and things like that, which can open to all kinds of other open doors. Two, to either look for job opportunities or find qualified employees. Or three, to connect with prospective patients. Your patients or their advocates, they are business professionals. And business professionals, they hang out on LinkedIn. Today, we're going to talk about that third thing, connecting with more potential patients. You'll see it's super easy. By the end of this video, you will have a simple three-step strategy that will help you connect with thousands of new prospective patients. Are you ready? Now, connecting on LinkedIn is simple, but it is a three-step process because you can't just connect and then walk away. So the first step is to actually make the connection. The second step is to engage with your connections and establish trust and credibility, or as I like to say, clout. And the third step is to convert your connections into new patients. Here's how you're gonna connect. Once you're logged into your LinkedIn account, go to My Network at the top of the page. You will see some potential connections featured on your screen, but wait, don't get click happy and just start clicking. You wanna be really strategic and deliberate when connecting with new people. So first decide who you want to connect with. When searching for new prospective patients, you wanna do it industry by industry because that's how LinkedIn works best. Let's say that you're an optometrist. Your patient base represents a wide array of professions, but what they have in common is that they are all adults and they're all professionals. Okay, now let's get a little more granular. Let's say that quite a few of your patients are lawyers. They come to you complaining that their eyesight is just not what it used to be because they're looking at computer screens all day. Now, look at the search bar on the top of your screen and enter into that field, lawyer. You're gonna see quite a few lawyers right there on your computer screen. Now we're gonna narrow your search even more by clicking locations so that you are sure to connect with lawyers in your general vicinity. Filter your search even more by clicking the button that says people underneath the search bar. Then next to that, click location. You'll see a grid on your screen with potential connections. Scroll through carefully and click connect next to only the ones that you really want to connect with. Once you've exhausted these prospects, do the same thing again using the word attorney in the search bar. And then after you've exhausted those prospects, do it again using the word Esquire and be sure to refine by location as well, don't forget. And now we're gonna do it one more time using the words Juris Doctor. Here, you might notice that there's probably a bunch of medical doctors in your search, but you're not looking for medical doctors. You're looking for Juris Doctor. So you need to refine your search even more. So in the search field, add the word not. It's gonna look like this. Juris Doctor, not medical doctor. The not needs to be in all caps. This will eliminate the medical doctor contacts from your search, at least for the most part. You might still have a few. Be mindful that LinkedIn limits the number of people that you can connect with within a 24 hour period. This number does vary based on your total number of connections, but the best practice is to try to limit your connections to about three to 5% of your total connections within a 24 hour period. So let's say that you have a thousand connections in total, try to connect with only about 50 a day, try not to exceed that. Connecting with too many people in a 24 hour period, especially if they don't have a clear common thread, 
that will prompt LinkedIn to flag you as a potential spammer, and you really don't want that to happen. So just be very selective and don't go too, too connect crazy in any 24-hour period. Just do it little by little each day whenever you have your hands free for a few seconds. Once you click connect, the recipient of your request will receive a notification. Usually, most people's settings allow them to receive notifications. They will either accept your request or they'll decline it which means they just delete it or they will just ignore it. As the acceptances start to come in, you will see your number of connections increasing little by little. To view your connections, go to my network at the top of the page and then click on my connections. You can sort them by when you connected with them or by first name or by last name. Here is our strategy here at Meredith and Boo for connecting with new contacts on LinkedIn. We connect with as many people as possible in any given day within our quota and of course within reason. As we connect, we make sure that each and every person we connect with is within our target market. It takes a little time every single day, but it's really simple and it's really easy. And it's something you can do while you're waiting in line at the supermarket. It doesn't require a lot of thinking. So now you've finished with step one, the actual connecting. Now we're ready for step two, engaging. Your relationship with your new connections on LinkedIn, it ends before it begins if you don't connect with your new connections. Once you connect with someone new on LinkedIn, craft a very well thought out, brief and impactful message. I usually do it just in a Word document. Once you're happy with your message, you're gonna copy and paste it into a private message. So nobody's gonna see it except you and the recipient. To send the message, simply click the messaging icon at the top of your screen and follow the prompts. In this message, we strongly suggest that you don't ask them to do anything. There should be no call to action. So don't ask them to make an appointment or to buy any products or services or anything like that. Just introduce yourself and tell them what you do and why you're reaching out to them. This is in alignment with our tell, don't sell philosophy, that you're much more impactful if you talk to them and establish a relationship before you try to sell them something. It works much better this way, trust us. The idea here is to establish yourself as somebody that your new connection can get to know and like and trust. Make them want to be your patient. Convince them, not using adjectives, but by using facts and just being friendly and warm. But don't overdo it. Give your new LinkedIn connections time to get to know you. Give them free information and valuable insight. And don't be worried about giving away information for free. This only establishes your credibility. This only makes them trust you more. So really, that's it for step two. We're ready to go to step three, conversions. Step three is all about converting your patients. Here at Meredith & Boo, we don't try to convert our LinkedIn connections to clients right away. We take our time and little by little, we establish a relationship and then we ask them to go to the place where we want them to be. Where you want them to be is probably on your appointment software or making appointments by phone. So you can ask them to do this in LinkedIn, but don't do it from day one. So give them time to get to know you a little bit, share information with them. That's step one and step two, you connect, share information. And then once you feel like they kind of know who you are and they're trusting you a little bit, then say, hey, I'd love you to become a patient or we'd love to see you in our office. Here's how you can make an appointment. And then you can offer that information. Just don't be too salesy on LinkedIn. Okay, so let's recap. Step one, connect. Step two, engage. And step three, convert. Get started on this today and please let us know how it goes. We wanna hear how you do. If you're a busy doctor who owns a private medical practice or clinic, please join us in our free Facebook group, Marketing Strategy for Busy Doctors. This is a private and free group for doctors just like you who are using the marketing practices that we teach to grow their private practice or clinic. In the Facebook group, you'll connect with each other and with us directly. We can't wait to share more secrets with you. Are you following this YouTube channel? Be sure and click subscribe and ding the bell so that you'll get a notification every single Tuesday when we publish a new video. Also, if you like this video, please let us know by liking it below and don't forget to subscribe. And finally, please feel free to share this video with any other busy doctors you know who would like to watch their practice grow. See you next time.